In this video, we would like to get an idea of how to interpret the multiple linear regression model output, as well as getting a geometric understanding of what the model is doing. The geometry of this model can be visualized in the following way, with two variables, x1 and x2 over here, being used to predict the output value, y. Values of x1 and x2 and y are collected ahead of time, and then the least squares model now forms a plane in this three-dimensional space given by x1, x2, and y. That plane will have some points that lie above it and some points that lie below it, so that the sum of squares of errors is minimized. Anytime we make a prediction using this model, that prediction will be from a point on that blue plane shown here in the diagram. The interpretation of our model coefficient b1 is the slope as seen from the perspective of the x1 axis and the b2 coefficient is the slope seen from the perspective of the x2 axis. When we want to interpret these b1 and b2 values, these slope coefficients, we have to be a little more specific than in the case where we were dealing with just a single input variable. Let me give you an example. Imagine we are trying to predict the yield in micrograms from our bioreactor. We have two variables that we are using, volume of the reactor and temperature. When we run some experiments, which we will see in a later part of this course, we might obtain the linear model that y is equal to bv times the volume v plus bt times the temperature t. The bv coefficient is the equivalent of b1, and the bt coefficient is the equivalent of b2. When using the data, we might find that that slope coefficient bv is negative, indicating that for higher tank volumes we obtain a lower yield. The Bt coefficient, the temperature effect, might be positive, indicating that at higher temperatures we achieve a higher yield. So we've learned something about our process from that model. Now that's the general interpretation, which is correct. Let's go take a look at some numbers and be more specific. Imagine that we measure the volume V in liters, and we find that that coefficient is minus 0.5. That negative coefficient of minus 0.5 indicates that the yield is expected to decrease, on average, by 0.5 micrograms for every 1 liter increase in the tank volume, holding temperature fixed. It is very important that we specify that last phrase, holding temperature fixed. When we were looking at regression models in the single variable case, we didn't need that extra piece, because there was only one variable in use in the model. For multiple linear regression, we have to be cognizant of the fact that multiple variables can affect the output y. We must specify that we have to hold the other variables fixed. What is your interpretation of the 4.2 coefficient, as in 4.2 times the temperature t? You should have hopefully said that that coefficient bt equal to 4.2 indicates that the yield will increase by 4.2 micrograms on average for every 1 Kelvin increase in temperature when holding the tank volume constant. That's quite a mouthful, but always make sure that you have two parts in your interpretation. That you recognize that it is the increase or decrease in the y value on average, and then always remember to specify that you are holding the other variables constant. In this particular course, we are not going to look into the theoretical derivation of the confidence intervals. But I would like to show you how we can calculate them using computer software, as well as how to interpret them. Let's say for a moment that when we calculate the confidence interval for the BV coefficient of minus 0.5, we find that it spans 0. Then we should say, if we were writing this in a message to our colleagues, that the effect of volume controlling for temperature is not significant. Here again, it is important to add the controlling for part. It indicates that controlled variables were considered in the model. In other words, that we controlled for the temperature, and when controlling for it, we found that the volume effect was not significant. So let's wrap up and look at that confidence interval now for temperature. It does not span zero. So our interpretation should be that the effect of temperature controlling for volume is to increase the yield from the reactor by 4.2 micrograms on average for every one Kelvin increase in temperature and that that is a significant effect. So this video then shows how to interpret the coefficients and the confidence intervals from the multiple linear regression models. In the next video, we're going to take our knowledge a step further and look at integer variables. The interpretation of these variables is a little bit different, but the confidence intervals are interpreted in exactly the same way.